Okay, today is May 13th, 2021. Uh, my name is John Helius. Uh, I'm the editor of Star Nations News. Um, anyway, uh, I got a special guest here today. Her name is Lisa, a, a good friend and also a very uh, gifted, uh, aware person. And um, so we were talking uh, about the way the energy is is uh, going recently. And uh, there seems to be some kind of um, construct that's going on. There seems to be some kind of energy that's coming from an external source that's affecting everybody. Uh, but it would also include the star seeds as well as, you know, like people who don't consider themselves star seeds, basically everybody on the earth. Uh, Lisa, can you, you know, elaborate further on this? Yeah, I can. Um, noticed it a couple of days ago. And the specific things that I noticed were uh, when I would talk with close friends, they were experiencing the same exact type of feeling jacked um, for no particular reason, uh, at specific times, nervousness bordering on anxiety, obsessive thoughts uh, about minimal issues and what it is, is it is a timed loop. It is on a 24 hour cycle. It activates at times when people are just starting to relax. So your guard is down a little bit. Your awareness is not of, in terms of your physical awareness and your avatar is not as crisp. And so that is the time when this dampening field triggers you and it works, basically works off of uh, various heavy metals in the body, which everybody now has. Um, and essentially kicks in a program. It's going to be a program that is going to be your specific Achilles heel program. For me, it was obsessive thoughts about nothing. Uh, questioning my, my decision-making process, uh, my perfectionistic tendencies, and in a negative sense. So not in a constructive sense in any way. This has to do with purely negative side of the emotional spectrum. There's nothing constructive about it. Uh, the feeling Jack was very much a feeling like uh, going into having an anxiety attack, but never, not really having one, but also feeling that that background of trying to pull one into fear. If you still react to events in your life with fear, then fear is still going to be a program that you're going to have to work on defeating. And anyway, th those were the things that showed up for me. I synchronized the times that they, that, very specific types of triggers showed up and then how long of a duration that they lasted. And this is the third day that this has been going on. So this device went live, most likely sometime earth time on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Because I, myself, I've been experiencing something somewhat similar uh, and it's showing up uh, pretty much at the, in the middle of the night uh, sometime between like, 12 midnight and 3 a.m. in the morning is when it yep. seems to be kicking in for me. So, mm -hmm. and I'm, uh, I'm located here in the United States in uh, the Western region, Southwestern part of the United States. So, and it's been doing this the last several days also. Uh, for me, the way it's been manifesting is as some kind of uh, irrational sense of fear. Yes. Uh, for me, and it's accompanied by anxiety uh, and I, it wakes me up and it's, you know, if I try this, go back to sleep immediately, it doesn't, uh, it, it can, it persists. So for myself, the way that I've been able to kind of like diffuse it or, or at least uh, tone it down quite a bit is to wake up fully and then acknowledge, you know, that it's this does not belong to me. This is not part of my lifestyle. I'm not manufacturing it. It doesn't belong to me. It's not part of my being. Yep. And, uh, you know, specifically, I say that out loud. And, you know, if, 
if, if 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 you decide to do something like this, that's fine. Hopefully, it'll work for for you. You know, you, you know those folks who are listening. Uh, in addition to you know, you might want to say you know that you anything else that empowers you personally. You know, some people say, well, I'm I claim my sovereignty, uh, like right now, and uh, and also acknowledge that it's not you know fear is not what you're born with as a child. You know, you're this, this is something that's programmed later and learn it later. So, um, so in any case, I, I found that that's very helpful. Uh, you know, get up and wash your face, maybe, you know, drink some, uh, drink some nice clean water and uh, acknowledge that everything is okay. And you have absolutely no reason to, to, to have these irrational kind of feelings and acknowledge that uh, it, it's, it's something that originates from outside of you. So um, uh, that's, that's what was helpful for me. And then I was able to go back to sleep and pretty much, uh, you know, be okay with that. It's still, you know, during the daytime, uh, it's still, it still kind of wants to impose itself sometimes, but uh, you know, during the daytime, you're, you're more or less in control of your, your, the conscious part of your life and you're able to just tone it down and recognize it for what it is. So basically, this thing seems to be this energy that's coming in, this programming energy, this infiltration or whatever attempt it is, is trying to come in from the outside. And it, you have to acknowledge it's not part of you. So, Well, yeah. I figured out a few hours ago that it was an artificial construct that was piggybacking on various satellites that are in orbit still that have not necessarily been taken out. They could have been deprogrammed. They could have been turned off and then somehow they got turned back on. Um, this is also coming from an outside source. So right now earth is in lockdown. Uh, there are several fields that are protecting the biosphere. So for something to actually be able to get through all of the shielding that is going on around this planet at this point in time, there has to be an outside source and it actually is, has to be pretty strong. So I'm a data master, that's my gig. Um, I am working with my team. They are working with specialists to get this SAT network taken offline and to nuke the source that it is, that it is coming from. But in the meantime, uh, everyone has to specifically command that this, they are allowing assistance in terms of this particular type of overshadowing, negative, fearful programming that is coming from outside of themselves. This negative, fearful shadowing program is designed to keep your vibration low. It's designed to keep you in a loop and keep you from rising in vibration. And the only person that can break the chain is yourself by allowing the supportive beings that are here to help you to actually I hate to use the word device, but because we are dealing with an external device and you already have technology in your body that is being used by four different various networks on this planet to program you emotionally, you know, fight or flight is the number one program that absolutely is used by the dark side in terms of trying to keep your vibration low. So it's gonna work on your triggers in terms of what types of situations in the past have you tended to obsess over or what types of situations have tended to, or an emotion, uh, some sort of emotional trigger that will spin you out in terms of take you out of your higher cognitive vibrational process. So basically my team has put together a biological device that you can call in. I, there are teams that are all over the world that are working with the populace now to actually have this very tiny device put on your field. So what it actually will do is any sort of trigger vibration that 
it's always going to be a frequency. You're not necessarily going to hear it, but it's very, very steady and it's going to show up at certain times. Depending on your time zone, for me, the times have been midnight, noon, three in the afternoon, six in the evening, nine o'clock in the evening. You know, really like every three hours, there, there is a very specific pattern to the type of frequencies that are being used by this particular network to kick in your fight or flight or whatever triggers it is that tend to spin you out. So you can ask for this particular device to be installed on your field. They will calibrate it. It's almost instantaneous. This is a temporary fix. This is not something that is going to stay in your field. It's just going to stay in your field while this device is up and running. As soon as this particular network is taken out, every single device is getting removed. And then you can command the device to be removed. So you are sovereign. You make the decision whether or not you're going to allow this device to be installed. And then you will command your team to remove it and allow the surgeons to remove it. So I'm not one that is all for having some sort of a device put on my field because personally, I'm very tired of the dog and pony show in terms of earth construct reality, cabal matrix that is breaking down right now. But I also, in the third day of having dealt with this particular programming, I'm done. Stick a fork in me, I'm freaking done with having to deal with this. So I am allowing this device to be installed temporarily. And what it actually does is it emits a frequency that is a countermeasure against the frequency that you're being pummeled with. So that is the purpose of this interview. Uh, you are sovereign. There is no one that can do anything to you, to you, your field, anything without your permission. So up to you. Um, I'm already starting to feel better. I allowed my team to take care of this for me about a half an hour ago. I know John Helios had his team take care of him uh, right just before mine. So this is a heads up in terms of information and in terms of dealing with the uh, reality, call, quote unquote reality construct as it is right now and as it is breaking down. So free will, of course, you know, make a choice that's good for you and blessed be. So yep. all the best to everybody that's out there. And mm -hmm. uh, right now, self-care is probably the most important thing that you can possibly do. There's an incredible amount that is going on right now, not just here on this planet. And I'm not going to get into that, but suffice to say that there's a lot of fronts in terms of the reality construct breaking down that are happening elsewhere. This has been addressed by several different people that I know uh, out there. They've you know, been putting out their little seeds of information. So stay aware. And if you want to know what's happening, you know, ask your team, your guardian angels, whoever it is that you work with and talk to, ask them to please show you what is happening clearly. So you will know and uh, allow yourself to be soothed by the fact that things are actually going our way. Things are going extremely, extremely well. But boy, I'll tell you, this whole dampening field thing is really sucks. And so I absolutely uh, encourage everybody to do what you need to do. And you just have to command in this device. This device is going to be installed temporarily. And then when this construct, this uh, network is taken offline, and I hope I'm communicating this clearly, uh, ask for the device then to be removed. So. Hopefully this is something that is going to be happening of a short duration. So hopefully it's not going to be going on for that many more days. Yep. Yep. So basically this is if you're feel, if you're suddenly within the last few days feeling this anxiety or fear for absolutely no reason at all, uh, then that's what, that's most likely what the symptom is of this external uh, energy that's being beamed in. 
So, so John, do you want to explain exactly how you commanded it into your field, please? Just for um, everybody to what you asked for, mm -hmm. gave yes. permission for. Uh, so basically, yes, you can, uh, if you tune into your personal angel guides, uh, you can ask them to go ahead and facilitate the installation. If that's, if you're not to angels or guides, uh, then you can just say, uh, I, I give permission for this device that serves me and my better purpose only to temporarily. be yeah to be temporarily installed <laughs> into my energy field uh in order to counteract you know this uh other external energy and when when this other external energy is finished then this device will also be uh de you know deactivated and uninstalled and as uh, lisa said this is only a temporary fixed thing i kind of interpret it as fighting fire with fire yes you know, there's basically an external fire that's malicious and you're just turning, you're just turning the tables around and using a similar uh, device or a similar technology from within your energy field that's configured specifically for your energy field. And, and your biology and whatever life form you happen to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's configured exactly for you. You've got, you've got helpers. You know, whether you're aware of it or not, you've got helpers who can use them who, yeah, go ahead and use them and ask them to to install this and, and calibrate it for your specific biological frequency. And it will be done and it'll be done automatically. It's something that you don't need really to put any effort into other than to grant your permission that uh, that this device be installed. Now, if for some reason you don't feel comfortable with this or it doesn't work out or something like that, uh, you can either say, hey, please, can you please calibrate it so that it does work for me? Or if you, know, it, if you want to, you can have it removed. I mean, you are a free sovereign being and you can- I just wanna add something real fast. Mm -hmm. I just wanna remind people of how many devices they allow into their energetic fields every day. All of their communication devices, their musical devices, yes. automobiles, every place that you go, somebody has some sort of device on them. So you are dealing with devices in your field by, you are not giving permission for these devices to come into your field that other people are carrying around, okay? So you are dealing with this factor all day, every single day. If you work on a computer all day, if you have to work on a communication device all day, whatever it is, even if you're just listening to music on a musical device, it's still a device. And basically every single device around you, not just that, but also all of the electricity, the, the power in the walls, you know, basically we're living in boxes of electricity all day. Electricity has a very specific frequency, but frequency can be piggybacked on electricity. So you're just gonna be barraged by this on a consistent basis, wherever you are all day, every single day. So this is something that you are commanding into your field by being awake and aware and understanding what the purpose of this tiny biological device actually is, which is to counteract everything that's barraging you with all of this negative trigger energy and to neutralize it so that you can actually relax, so that you can actually tune in to yourself, tune into your heart, tune into taking care of you and your biology, your body, your physical avatar, your spirit, and also being able to, to assist others in this. So this isn't something that is a small thing. This is something that is actually a very, very large thing. So this is actually a problem that is large that is going on right now. So please take action. This is really important. Uh, anything that stops you from communicating with your highest self and your team is very, very negative and needs to be stopped in its tracks right now. So. Yep. Okay. 
So, I appreciate you, John. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you very much for your your contribution and for you know for bringing this up too in our earlier yeah. conversations. So, uh, yeah. hopefully, this is helpful for everyone and um, enjoy the ride. So, thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, John.